Explorer. Selamat datang to Anita Yusof channel. In the last episode, I have shown you the amazing giant cactus of Baja California and its beautiful coastal line. I have also taken you to the mainland of Mexico where I managed to witness the Day of the Dead celebration and visiting some of Mexico's famous attractions including Ahua Azul Waterfall. Today, I'm going to take you across the border to Guatemala. So what is going to happen? Let's see! Welcome to Guatemala. This is the second Latin American country in GDR. Border crossing procedure is pretty smooth. It took me about 40 minutes in the Mexican side. I need to show Mexican tourist card receipt which I paid upon entry in order to get back my 400 USD motorbike deposit. Failure to show the receipt will result in losing the deposit or you have to pay for a new tourist card. So remember guys, always keep the receipt until you exit Mexico. After that, there's a 4 km ride on no man's land to enter Guatemala. Upon entry, wow, it was so noisy and chaotic. The tuk-tuks, pedestrians and sellers all racing on the street. The good thing is, I spent only 20 minutes for passport control and to settle my papers. I need to pay 80 quetzal for entry fee which is about 20 USD. The customs didn't ask about insurance, so off I go. Yoo-hoo! My first impression about Guatemala? Hmm, narrow road, chaotic, brutal driving attitude, but very green. There's a lot of military presence, but I dare not shoot any video because they didn't look friendly at all. The first place I stayed in Guatemala is Panahasel, a small tourist town on the north shore of the volcanic Lake Atitlan. Okay, uh, saya berada di uh, Panahasel, uh, Guatemala dan saya berada di uh, jalan ini jalan yang paling famous iaitu Kai Principal kerana dekat sini hujung belakang sana tu ada uh, Tasik Atikan. So dekat jalan ni uh, banyak kedai jual souvenir, jual uh, t-shirt, uh, handicraft dan macam-macam lagi. Okay, so I'm not so sure maybe another 5 minutes walk to reach the lago or the lake Atikan. Yay! I am now at Lake Atitlan. Guys, this lake is formed from a volcanic crater, you know. It is situated at an altitude of 1560 meters above sea level and has a maximum depth of 340 meters. There are three volcanoes here, Volcan San Pedro, Volcan Toliman and Volcan Atitlan. From the pier at Panahasel, you can take the small boat or lancha as the local call it to the small towns and villages inhabited by the Mayan tribe such as San Pedro de la Laguna, San Marcos and Santiago. The fare is between 10 to 25 quetzal depending on the destination. Exiting Guatemala was easy, only 30 minutes and I'm done. However, it's another story in El Salvador. Now, it's not that difficult but there were some confusions which delayed me. It took me one and a half hours to complete the procedure and then I rolled my wheels on El Salvador's land. I bypassed Santa Ana and the capital city San Salvador and rode straight to El Cuco, a beautiful beach Fame for its spectacular sunset. In El Cuco, I stayed at a very cool place, La Tortuga Verde, which faced the Pacific Ocean. This place is also a turtle conservation center. Here, 
I managed to witness baby turtles being released to the awaiting ocean. Yes, I dropped my bike on that shortcut. <laughs> But the ride goes on to Honduras, the most dangerous country on planet Earth. Lots of military checkpoints, I lost count how many in total. <laughs> 